Okay, so what I want to add now to the contract and to the uh, application itself is some balances. So I want to know how much has been kind of donated to the contract, what the um, withdrawal amount, how much has been withdrawn, and also what is the kind of the live balance of STE within the contract. So let's go ahead and make that. So we've already got a donated variable here. This is going to be public, and this gives us a, a public getter variable. If we go into the deploy stage, we can see that this is last, the transaction that we sent in the last test. So let's do a public function, function Lido balance. We want, to, we want that to be public and it returns a unsigned integer variable or a value. We can get that balance here. And instead of assigning that to the balance variable, we can just return it straight from the external query. And also change this to a view. So if we redeploy this contract now, let's get rid of this one, save this, control S, deploy to Gorelli, confirm. While that's going through, I'm gonna update the ABI, copy this here, Go into our Give Forever API, update that, save. Go back and update the contract address. You'll see we've got this new um, function here for the Lido balance. And these should both say zero because we haven't donated anything to this contract. The uh, contract we used in the previous video was um, an old contract now and those funds have been lost, albeit testnet funds. So let's open up this app update the contract address. The ABI will update automatically because that's being imported from the JSON file. And we can do a new function here called const update balances. And I'm gonna call this whenever we deposit and whenever we withdraw and on connect as well. Donated amount equals await contract dot donated. And then the Lido balance equals await contract dot Lido balance. And I'm gonna work out the surplus as well. Lido balance dot sub donated. I'm using the uh, ethers library here for big maths and that just kind of handles the big numbers that we're using because we've got the the, y, the the y variable which is kind of with the 18 decimals here so it's quite a big number and JavaScript's not good with big numbers. Let's go ahead and import use state from React and then in the app I'm going to add so there we go what we're doing is we're going to use the import use state library from React then we're going to set up a, inside the app, we're going to set up a variable for donated, set donated, and then use state zero to, as the default value. I'm going to do the same for Lido balance and surplus. So paste these in got set Lido balance. I'm using ethers.utils.format ether to kind of convert the 18 decimals back to kind of human readable um, value again. And the same with surplus. And then down below, we're gonna add these three values. We've got donated, balance, Surplus, balance, and surplus. And the final thing we do is just add a set timeout to load these balances as soon as the page loaded. Let's try this out. You see we've got a minus figure, the balance. So we've actually received slightly less um, SDE than we've donated in ETH so far. Let's connect this up. 
Send a little bit more. Deposit that. And while we're doing that, we can just kind of make this text a little bit smaller. So I'm going to give this div a class name of app balances. I'm going to go into our CSS. App balances, uh, font size. 0.7 EM. And there we go, that's gone through. So we've still got a negative surplus on this contract, but what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna leave that for a little while and I'm gonna build up some STE in there um, so that we've actually got a surplus, wait for the staking rules to come in. And then we can test out the withdrawal function. So there we have it, our simple decentralized application where we can connect our wallet deposit ETH to the contract and withdraw that to the charity address.